Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Why, hello, you Dooligans. Welcome to another full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives, right here on AfterBuzz TV. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by some two very knowledgeable folks of all things Salem. <laughs> We're going to start with my favorite co-host, one of them, with the hair like Jimmy oh, I Neutron. Thought you meant, yeah, I thought you were like, okay. Hi, I'm Mark J. Freeman. And I'm James Lott Jr. And we are going to give a little shout out to Peter, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today. Hey, Peter, how so are you? So he so had to work. So, uh, so yeah, um, I want to quickly thank you guys for always tuning in to us every Sunday yes. to recap edition uh, days. Um, also, thank you guys for all of your chats here in the chat roll. Mark is going to keep an eye on that. But we, <laughs> <laughs> one eye. Just one, one eye. Just but one. we definitely need your one. help. We need you guys to repost our videos. We're going to try to get up to 3,000 views yes. and then we're going to give away some more lovely prizes so help us get to that also don't forget if you are more of a listener instead of a watcher go to iTunes make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. like comment and find our uh, podcast there yes. so gentlemen it is yes. now time and to ladies do <laughs> your inner lady. <laughs> it is now time to do what we love to do right here each and every week it's time to start Dish and Days and and then pay attention to it no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're done. We're done. All right. Hello, Carolyn. So, <laughs> so let's get into. Every time someone says hi in the chat room, I'm just gonna yell hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> so let's get right into uh, the Ben Abigail Thank Chad yes. storyline. <laughs> Would that be annoying if I did that the whole time? Yeah, it's, yeah, it does. It's, sounds, like, it's already it like, annoying. <laughs> it's like who? What? 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 What happened? What? My, he said my hair looks epic. Ep uh, epic. It's yeah, it does. Big it is. Yeah. I yeah. actually even noticed I ducked when I went out my front door. Yeah, yeah. You had to. You yeah. had to. Yeah. I'm still. I need to. I need help though, because I want to do a Twitter for my hair. It, it already has and it. Big hair don't care is already used. Oh yeah, it is. Who would use that? I need to find out who that is. You need to do like and report them to Twitter <laughs> so I can have the the handle. Well, tweet them and try to get it. Yeah. They'll just give it to me? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who's behind It'll it. It'll be some redneck in Kentucky who wants to kill me. Yeah, probably. And shave your head. And shave your head. I am a redneck from Kentucky, so I can say that. <laughs> okay, good. Like, okay, he's like, uh, okay, okay. My father was born in a log cabin in Kentucky, if you didn't know. <laughs> well, I didn't. Now you do. But now I know. Now you know. All log cabins belong to one little Mark J. Freeman Sr. Log cabin hair. Log cabin hair. Maybe that can be nice. You can do that. Country hair. Country hair. Country hair. Country hair. Country hair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how about we leave it to the fans? Yeah, fans, right below. Uh, in the in the comments, make sure you let us know what we should name our hair <laughs> for his Twitter. Very important stuff we're starting with today. Very Days important. Very important. Right. Yes, exactly. All right, so All right. Ben Abigail Chad. Yes. All right, so um, I, okay. Honestly, I I'm not sure if I'm digging the whole like Abby pregnant again scare storyline because it's kind of like. You know, she had to made love yes, to made Chad, love. Yes. <laughs> and then what? Days later, days days later, later. she you know days. makes days, days makes days love later. to uh, to Ben. Yes, and now she's well, like. Well, I think it was later that day. Was it like almost the same day? No, no, no. no. That it was the same day that Ben found out. Yes, that Ow. they that they did make love, <laughs> which I feel like that's a little nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. I found out that you cheated on me, but now I'm going to make love to you so that you don't cheat no more. Good luck you with that. You need to get out, Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Me or Ben? No, 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 I think Ben needs to. Ben does. Yeah, he's got to. He's that's a little crazy. Uh, so how are, how are we feeling about things progressing this week? Because this week we saw, you know, that she had, you know, she was sick and the smell of hot dogs uh, during the picnic well, that, that made her sick. That whole thing was kind of funny because... 
Theo, using Theo once again yeah, to again. bring them together. Yes. I remember he has autism. I mean, I love that scene with Zoe when she come out, comes out with the little, yeah. I, would, I don't know who'll be ready for that you know, kind of thing. It was like, oh, I don't okay. think any of us are ready for I that swimsuit. Like, he yeah. may come out of autism. I don't know. He might, <laughs> you saw that outfit. But it was kind of funny, but they used Theo to kind of bring them together in the same area and right. then decides to go, of course, and she's sick the whole time. It's like, you know, everything's like making her sick. And I'm like, well, you know, it's the yeah. heat and, and, the, yeah. and the tubing and the spinning and, you know, <laughs> You know, all you know, it's just I'm just all out of sorts. And then Zoe put the hot dog like right in the face. Know, it's yeah, it was like and kept putting the hot dogs in like yeah. every hot dog yeah. that yeah. came out. She kept yeah. like Well it was funny too because when she first mentioned Well, first of all, why are they going to get hot dogs when she picked up a whole basket full of food right. at T B D. That was my first thought. Was Be- um what about all the food you brought? <laughs> right, exactly. You already have food. Maybe, maybe she only brought sides to go with the hot dogs. <laughs> that's, that's, that's gonna be true. That's I'm just like saying because like she said, she said, "Oh, why did I put all this garlic it's in the, the in the potato salad?" She did say that. You're yeah, right. maybe, so maybe she only brought sides. And I do have to give her credit because she actually paid for it. We actually saw her pull out her yes, card and pay for it. I she know. didn't just get up and walk out the place. Like <laughs> let me tell you, you, if I know Sonny Kiriakis and Chad Demira, and especially if I made love to Chad, you best believe I'm getting some free food at Star <laughs> TVD. <laughs> I ain't gonna be paying for nothing. My face will be when they're like, "Your total comes to fifty dollars and seventy-five cents." I'll be like, <laughs> "Do you know who I'm sleeping with?" Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to know, but I slept with the owner. Put it on his tab. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> exactly. Walk it out. And then, of course, it progressed to where her her cousin, I mean, Will, finds her and she drops everything. Yeah. Of course. Of course. It, it spills out. Yeah, it spills out ever so slightly. <laughs> lots, of, lots of clumsy people. Listen, yes. I have never known of a thing of contents to fall out of bags so gracefully. Yes. Um, you mean like earlier when you dropped your whole... <laughs> That wasn't graceful though. That wasn't Listen, really graceful. That took that took a tumble. That was that was different. That took a tumble. It did. It wasn't graceful at all. No. no. That took a tumble. Yeah. But yes. but it's but and, and I saying. always Just and I saying. always feel like Will is always around when Abby is doing like devious yes. things like yes. you don't see them throughout the show no, just having not. like conversations you know cousins. because they, yeah, no, no, yeah. and, and they're supposed to like be like the fa- like they like each other right, they're right. the favorites of each right. other um but it's like they're only around when stuff is about to hit the fan because remember when they had that big fight after the whole that whole mess a long time ago they mm-hmm. showed that they were really close and they were cousins and now you never seen together until a pregnancy test falls out in yeah. the market area yeah and then it's like i'll be here for it. can you come, can you come with me and do it with me I'm like okay so. right i I also like, though, that Zoe pointed out to Chad that the only reason why she's getting the invite is because you're trying to make Abigail jealous. I actually wrote in my notes, too. I love that Zoe actually is smart when she's, like, picking up on stuff. Mm -hmm. She Um, should go work for Salem PD. (laughs) Well, no, she <laughs> wouldn't get hired. She's too smart. She's smart. Yeah, I like like she was like, I'm being used. I'm being yeah. used. Yeah. yeah. And she knew what was going on, so I'm glad he made a smart woman in Salem. Yeah. 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 Did you lose internet? Because I don't have connection to the chat room anymore. Um, uh, I believe I did. I'm just going to. Yeah, re- I tried refreshing, too. Oh, yep, it's yeah. all gone. Well, all right. we'll get it back eventually. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, Abby hasn't had her period in weeks. Well, right. she said days. Did you say days? She, yeah, no, she, she said. I think she just said, oh, I think I am late. Well, she said <laughs> she didn't well, actually give a number. Out of when, okay. when Will was there, she said, "I mean, I'm only a few days." Oh, she, right? Okay, she did. Yeah, yeah, so she, she, so she did say days. she was only a few days, but. I mean, listen, I don't know about women's troubles, <laughs> but being around some of the lovely ladies that I know, who yes. some are my best friends, you know, there's a lot of things that contribute to yes. being late, yes. stress, stress, you know. I've been late for a long time. <laughs> listen, you're, when you're menopausal, you just, it just stops. You're period. It just stops. I'm yeah. talking about hot flashes, actually. Exactly. Oh, crazy. Uh, yeah, so that's true. A, a lot of things can contribute. Diet. Yes. Uh, diet, stress. I used to be a nurse, of course, I'm all this. Diet, stress, weather. Yeah. Um, anything could happen. Sometimes sometimes your body is just irregular sometimes. Yeah. But we know what's going on in Salem. It has to be a pregnancy. Even though she walks out with a frown on her face, we don't really know. She hasn't said it she yet. She hasn't yeah. said it. Yes. But I wonder... I, I still don't understand why Ben didn't say anything right away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it it doesn't make sense to me. Like, you found out, but now you're you're just going to hold on to her? But he's talking to his dad for advice. Like, yeah, I'm just like, talking to, like, well, this uh, is the same person that told him to put the GPS on right, there. Right, and, exactly. So I'm like, oh, okay, so there must be a master plan of some sort. Like, But then she'll be pre- she's pregnant. 
I, I, pregnancy as a plot device bugs the crap out of me anyway at yeah. this day and age. It's yeah. such an old soap device. Yeah. Do you think nowadays, really? Yeah. They're still doing that? Yeah. They are. Well, they, are, they are. Clearly, they are. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know I mean? It's, I mean it's, it's not, it's not, invent but again, we're still under the direction of the old writers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, you know. Bear with them, so as like Ken two more says. weeks ish. Well, the middle of August. Well, I guess more they than said, that. Well, like, he said so September. Yeah. He said September. We'll start we'll, seeing that. Yeah, yeah, that was like. Well, it. by then, it's, by the time Labor Day comes around, it's going to be a whole new thing. But I feel like the new writing starts. I thought somebody said in like mid, mid August. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm sure, and it's probably. Been I wonder like, if like they're all going to start speaking another language. <laughs> <laughs> like Spanglish, like they Spanglish. did that one time I don't know. when they when they tried yeah. to do the Spanglish and like so bad and yeah. like Gabby oh. would speak Spanish and then it would be Ooh. in subtitles. It was yeah. so bad. Oh, was well, so bad. I remember thinking, good for you, <laughs> good for trying to teach the people. Yeah. Well, they did. Everyone, uh, they liked the Japanese when Paul. Oh yeah. Was oh, yeah. But that one felt more real too. They they sounded more real. Well, they, yeah, they, they speak, sounded. They, yeah. yeah, they speak it. But I know that NBC and Telemundo. Telemundo. They're all, they're all you know close together. They're all part of the same thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They're trying that. Um, we still seem to be having trouble with our our internet. Hopefully, that will be uh, fixed soon, so that we can get back to the chat room and see what you guys are saying. Yeah, I'd but in the everything. meantime, keep chatting. Don't worry about it. We'll join you guys in a second. Mm -hmm. um, so. That's pretty much it with yeah. with that with that storyline. I would say let's take it to the chat room, but it's bad. <laughs> um, um, well, one other thing. Yeah. Thank you for having Ben and Chad take their clothes off. <laughs> oh, during, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, during the okay. Yeah, first of all, there was a lot of there was a lot of man skin. There was a lot of man skin. There was there there was a lot of mm -hmm. uh, even the background people had like <laughs> yeah. they were just walks around yeah. and. I actually thought that when that guy walked by, I was like, mm, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it either. I'd be like, I either, I'd, I'm going to show up in t-shirts no, and, sh and, and shorts. I'm going to be doing that. I'd wear a caftan and just walk by in some flip-flops. Because I want people right. to appreciate me for the good actor that I am, not for my body. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to worry about there. Neither of us do. I don't, I don't either. That's true. Yeah, I don't either. So there you go. <laughs> and Tony's silence says it all. Says Moving it all to right the there. next topic. <laughs> all right, so now we have some other folks who are in the park. Sonny, Will, Paul, and Derek. Derek. Yes. Um, Derek. I love Derek. I will say this again, as I've said time and time and time again. Yes. Will. <laughs> will. Will. Yeah. <laughs> He yeah. has spent so much time worrying about everyone else mm -hmm. than just admitting that I did wrong. Right. You know? Uh, Paul actually said he was tired of his desperate an antics to hang on to Sonny, and I was like, that was it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. This is all this has been mm -hmm. from day one, mm -hmm. desperate antics to try to hang mm -hmm. on to Sonny. Yeah. It's so stupid. And and going to, to Paul's hotel room again to yes. say you being in Salem again is going to, like, <laughs> yeah. prevent, you know, Sonny and I getting back together again. Yes. It's kind of like, and I feel like Paul should have just said, look, dude, I don't care. Like, right. you know, you and Sonny go do, all I'm trying to say is, I I know where you're at because mm -hmm. when I I've came out, it's yeah. like it's opened this whole right. new world to where I know that I'm not ready to be in a relationship. Wake up, Will. You right. probably not either. Right. <laughs> and, um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> not you. I'm like, was I dozing off? No, 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 my favorite parts. And this, this line was so beautiful when Will's trying to push Paul and Derek together. And Paul's like, we're just, we're just friends. And mm -hmm. the line that I love was. It's perfectly normal for two gay men to be friends without sex. You would know that if you and Sonny had gay okay. men friends. Yeah. Next, it was like, yeah. and that's it. Well, what was funny about that is I thought, like, hint to writers, maybe they should yeah, have exactly. friends exactly. in Salem. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I just love what he well, said, so they, was like... They did. Somebody did, didn't they? Was there it a was, point where there, oh, there were Sonny years did. Sonny ago. Sonny had that friend Brian or yes. something, didn't he? Yes. yes. Brian, yeah. but mm -hmm. Brian was also in love with Sonny. Right, remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also... But that's very gay friendship. <laughs> it is. But prior prior to that, uh, there used to be like a group of people mm -hmm. that would hang out yeah. at the coffee shop and that were right. friends of, of Sonny yeah. and Will's. So. Because they made Sonny, when Sonny first came on, I loved his character because he was so progressive. Mm -hmm. He was just like, I'm a gay man. I've been gay for a while. There was, yeah. no, there was no gay bashing story. Right. He had friends. He had dated before. And Will was the one that was coming out. So I liked that. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, well, yeah, where are the gay men? 
Oh, wow. Well, they have they have all disappeared apparently. Yeah, they went to some bar. What, what was the bar again? Oh uh, yeah, there was a, a there was a gay bar. There was a gay bar. Was somewhere. it? Yeah, someone yeah, actually. Yeah, remember it. we got yelled at because yes. I said there wasn't one, and they mentioned and they were and like, someone no, mentioned there it. There was one. Well, you can hear us in the chat room just to put it on there so we can yeah. hear it later. Or you know, tweet it to me because my Twitter, oh, yeah. my phone's on, so yeah. you can tweet me. Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll tweet them. Yeah, tweet them. Tweet me at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E, if you guys have something to say, because we're not in the chat room, so yeah. I can't. I can yeah. watch my phone though. I got it here too. Or Please. if uh, our our lovely engineer who's in there, if you can somehow get me the password to the other wireless connection, I can log on somewhere else. Or oh wait, wait maybe, maybe that happens. Okay, but yeah, yeah I, but I like the fact that that. Paul was just like, I'm on to you. Like, I yeah. just, I'm on to you. Sonny's on. Everybody's on to Will. This is so funny. It's like no one's really buying his routine. Yeah, yeah no. It, well, because <laughs> it's so it's so tiresome. And then the whole thing of him wanting to go to that certain spot yes. in the yes. park. So far away from the rest of the yeah. you know, family, yes. You know, in, oh, in order for Sonny to see yes. Paul and, and Derek, you know, but together. But Paul called him out on that. Yeah, yeah he did. He did. Yeah. Yeah, he As did. he should. Because while, while he was in the hotel room, Derek popped up, yes. like right before he yes. they were leaving. And he's just kind of like, huh, I'll go play tennis with him too. He is hot. And I'm just like, that line is there for a reason mm -hmm. because yeah. you're not ready to be married, <laughs> right. Will. Like, yeah. just be like, listen, let's take a break. Let me let me explore, right. stole my royal old, or right. whatever you need to do, yeah. and then yeah. let's see what we have later. Which actually is realistic. Yeah. I, I have to say, I say the same thing to a lot of my friends too when they tell me they're like dating someone seriously mm -hmm. that's just coming out. I'm like, mm -hmm. girl, me mm -hmm. too. Don't do that. Right. Yes. So I kind of could relate to what. Paul yeah, no, was it's, it's 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 legitimate. Yeah. It's realistic. Yeah. But, I'm not but, saying that you can't have a long. No, of course not. Of course. <laughs> but no, but just <laughs> but it's I'm like gonna, I'm gonna get tweets about that now. <laughs> well, it's just make sure that you're ready yes. to be yeah. in a relationship, and especially one that and everything was so beautiful about their relationship yes. that like I get where where they're coming from, but again, it's just like it's hit or miss, and I he agree. keeps. Blaming everybody else mm -hmm. instead of just admitting his feelings. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know I forgot to ask. TBD has food? Apparently. Yeah. Uh, yes. So there are a coffee shop, a bar, bar. and a, a restaurant. restaurant. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. They may have like light. Light fair. Snacks. Light fair. The yeah. spot. It was called the spot. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, the, the spot. spot. That's right. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, the spot. Thank you, Cheryl. When he said it, I was like, oh, I kind of remember that now when he said that. I can remember. But yeah, but. And also, I also like that um, Sonny apologized to. I mean, Derek apologized to Sonny. Yeah, a little, little brief little moment, and Sonny like, Sonny's like, I know it was not really on you, and yeah. you were malicious, and I was like, that's kind of nice. As they bonded over beach volleyball, they did. I yeah. noticed Sonny never took off his shirt. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I would be that person. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I will. Bur I will burn up before I take <laughs> off a shirt. <laughs> um, so, do we think? That Derek, who who do we think Derek's gonna end up with? Have, or we want to wait till predictions. Oh, it's probably still little out. I mean, I would. <sighs> I think it's gonna be Will. I think it's gonna be Will too. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it now. Just because they both have made a comment about the other. Yeah, like you said, right. they said, they're setting something up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's, like, he's not committing to that right now. Listen, I'm like... Well, I, he's the only person that Will has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, right, at this point. Right. They've all well, each other, so well, to speak, so. Definitely not Will and Paul. Definitely not Will and Sonny. No. So, like, the only option he yeah. does have is Derek. Yeah. And then we will be fine with Sonny and Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah so, definitely. Yeah. So, then all the so do we know if they are recasting Sonny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she sips on her I know, tea. We, we look at you like, yeah. and we're like, yes. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, I wonder. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am available. <laughs> Are you? I'm available. I mean, I, only because our hair is so similar it's would so I play the role. So, um, <laughs> that is pretty much the Sonny Will Paul storyline, right? So I was like, and move on to this. <laughs> <song."> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to Xander, Serena, yes. Nicole, Eric, Daniel. Yes, yes, yes. I do not like Nicole and Daniel together. Me neither. I'm totally with you. And what did I say last week? What? I said, watch, she's going to say she can't move in with him. And then she said it. Well, she said it, and Obviously, then she went. She went yeah, back she and said, "I, I can." Because I noticed that she wasn't answering his question. That's the only reason why. Right. I but um, yes. yeah, I don't. And, and the whole thing with. Daniel thanking Eric, thank you for saving her. Yes. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not how this goes. Right. You, they are the ones that have been in 
right. you know, in a relationship for right. years and years and years and years and right. years, in and out, regardless of being a priest. Sorry, right. you know, it, stuff happens. It happened to me once. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a cardinal. Anyway, um, it's enough about that. I was an altar boy. Anyway, no. Um, Yes. I just I got so angry at that scene when he was just like, "Thank you, Eric. You did this. You did this for us, and thank you." I mean, it, then it kind of I, I mean, it was obvious that they were doing it to yes. to get Eric to blow up at him and stuff like that. Right. But mm-hmm. it was just so obnoxious. I'm like, "No, you guys aren't spoke. No, no, no." But did you see that article that they're writing about how uh, Ken Corday was saying that anybody who dies after September or whatever isn't yeah, 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 yes, yeah, he was yeah. pictured in there. Who was Daniel? Aiden, yeah, Daniel was, and there was a third. Daniel, Aiden, and the third one, but Daniel was in there. And there were three, three, three people, mm-hmm. and the, they're all three pictured on there. And it's like if it, he said, and they quoted Ken Corday saying, "Anyone who dies after something is yeah. not coming back." And I was I like, think it, oh, I, "I think that, that was a, just coincidence." I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just coincidence. I mean, Daniel's been off for a long time now, hasn't he? He yeah. So he's, uh, he's, yeah. Like, remember he was with Kate mm-hmm. and Chelsea, Chelsea. He was with them, Billy, yeah. that whole line, and now he's with these. I'm like, he's been on for a while. He has. And I mean, maybe it's you know, time to go. it's time for him to move on. <laughs> I mean, his daughter left, <laughs> but his mother's still there. Your friend Maggie. Well, his mother. Because I mean, uh, yeah. Melanie's mother's not there. Oh yeah, yeah, no, so yeah. Carly's gone. Yeah. I does it, does it really back. matter? Because <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I think you would be very happy with a Jonas Free. Uh... I cannot wait. Well, I was reading that article, and he was like, "Yeah, there's all these faces you've never mm. seen." I'm like, "Yes, you're right, Ken. Yes, I don't want to see them. Thank you for getting rid of one of those redheads. Thank you so much." <laughs> So, uh, oh and Xander walks around and is like, hey, you know, you're being menacing. With listen, people, let me course. tell you, and I said this last week, I almost believe Xander had nothing to do with putting them in that furnace just by how charming he's been all week. <laughs> well, we saw like, it. Uh, like, yeah, so yeah, so like, I'm, like, there are times where I watch it and I go, well, maybe he really was in Chicago. <laughs> like, they used his car. Someone used his phone. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe he really was there. Oh, he has nothing against Nicole. Like, he's being so nice. Why are they punching him? Why are they beating him up in the hospital? <laughs> oh, and then, who was it? When Anne was like, stop beating up right. this, this handsome, this handsome ma- charming man. Yes. Well, Here's, oh, she was hilarious. I can't here's, with here's Anne. Was, I love Anne. She was hilarious. Anne. Here's what's here's what's funny about uh, another scene was when uh, he got a phone call and he was like and she was like well you know if there's anything and then she was just kind of like. Like, and they just kind of backed <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I do. I sound like Anna. Yeah, she's so funny. Yeah, I can't. I just, I, but I just Hashtag you can tell can. that they just haven't figured out what to do with her because they again started something. I have an idea. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I like Mary what are you, Scott. What, what are like you trying her. to be, the, the next Salem stalker? I, I would <laughs> love to be. If I get to pick who I get to kill. Salem slasher, <laughs> Salem stalker. I could do it. that. I could come through. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh Karate my God. chop. No, she, um, she could be a good. She just wears wrap dresses all the time. You can't help it. Yeah. And then now I love that Eric is kind of like, if you really do love me, I need your help, Serena. Yes. Like I need you to. Get I actually like all that the, he did that too. Yeah, too. and yeah. they fought for a little bit, and then then he realized he went back and forth. Do you think she's really gonna do what he wants I think her she, to do? I I think she is, but I and I she knows that she's putting herself in danger. But yes. I think that this is the only thing that's going to redeem her mm-hmm. in his eyes. And do you think do you think she's gonna die, or do you think she's I gonna do. leave? I do. I think she's gonna die. I think she's gonna die doing it, and then it's gonna be like this. Oh, yeah, she's exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. She's she's more concerned about what Eric thinks about her than what Xander will do. I think at this point. Yeah, yeah. she's kind of. Like, I got to do this because I got to so Eric will love me again or whatever. Some deluded. You yeah. Know, yeah. I agree with that. <sighs> Poor actress. I love you so much, Miss Archer. I know. <laughs> just, I mean, the storyline is just like, okay. She was so great. But you're right. It's like, Xander, you almost want to believe him. He's so good. He's, yeah, he's really good. He's mm-hmm. so good. Like, uh, had, I, had I not watched all that go down, I right. would have thought, I would have yeah. stood there next to him and said, he didn't do that. He was in Chicago. <laughs> and, did you see, and I tweeted out the picture that I took of him signing everything. Of him did signing everything? I did. <clears throat> I yeah. retweeted oh, yeah. it. Yeah, we tweeted it. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll be able to give those away to people. Yes. And then Eric, soon, then Eric and Brady kind of decided Discuss being brothers again. Yes. And they're going to try to put down Xander together. They kind of had a little minor conversation about that. Very minor. It must minor. have been so minor that I wasn't minor. <laughs> Eric and Brady. Oh, yeah, I guess they are. Because yeah. Brady was hurt by Xander. Well, he was hurt by Xander, obviously. Brothers. Well, Brady half was brothers. one of the people that was wondering why he's still interacting he, with Serena. Yeah, exactly. Because then yeah. when, when they saw uh, Serena, uh, Nicole and uh, Daniel saw Serena in Hortown Square, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she was like, I'm meeting Eric. They were both like, Really? Why? Yeah, and why? then insert Eric. <laughs> 
And then Dan- and then Nicole's like, go talk to him. Right. I have some errands to run. And her errand is going to see Serena. Right. Yeah. Right. Interesting. And then, of course, we had a little piece of Victor in this storyline where Maggie's like, why is that murderer doing in our house? I love yeah. that. And he was like telling him, just go away. I will summon you. Like, don't contact me. Yeah. I, but I love to see Xander's change when it comes to Victor yes, because he seems very powerful and almighty. Mm-hmm. When he's not in Victor's presence, and then he he's just this demure character yes. when he's around Victor. He wants his yeah. uncle's approval. Yeah. He wants he to be really part does. of the family. He said he really he wants, like, deep down, even though he's angry at him, yeah. and then some of us have been there before, you're he angry wants acceptance. at him. He wants acceptance. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Poor thing. I want him to have it. <laughs> I wish I could see what you guys are talking about, <laughs> I but know. our it's internet is still it. down, oh, and no man. one has said anything about what's We're going on with the internet. On. So Maybe. hopefully we'll, we'll get back on so that we can see what you guys are, are chatting about. Uh, Cheryl's messaged me a couple times. Oh, good. Thank uh, you, Cheryl. Oh, Daquan. Wait, if only Mark had nice taste and care. Oh, Daquan. Oh, my Daquan. God. Daquan. I said Cheryl could. I didn't say you could. <laughs> Daquan. The ever battle between Daquan and Mark. Uh, all right, so let's get into some tidbits. First yeah. of all, we have to talk about the epic Victor and Stefano meeting. Oh, I love this. I love how Stefano was just sitting in the house, <laughs> and, and Victor's like... <laughs> Note to self, fire all security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> and then he's like, now I'm going to ask this nicely. What the hell are you he's doing, doing here? Right, yeah. I, love it. I love that. I love that yes. I was able to remember that moment. Yeah, he did. He did remember that moment. Yeah. But it was, but Stefano was just in there chilling like, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm just here. just yeah. waiting for you to come downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting for you to come home. Yeah. It's like what time did he get there? Nine a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so that and but I love that Victor and Stefano had this conversation about who is Clyde and right. w- yeah. what do we do in order to like. <laughs> well, fix it's this. so funny, and I said this before. I don't. I still don't see Clyde like I see Victor I and agree. Stefano. Yeah. I and I don't understand. I mean. Unless there's the story that is going to get exposed about him and who he is and all this other stuff, it just doesn't get. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it's kind of cool that Victor and Stefano are kind of coming course, together to go after him, mm-hmm. which I think is kind of the idea. Right. But it's like, I mean, it's the joke is that he's this hillbilly. Why are we right. all afraid of him? Yet yeah. they're all afraid of him. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. like. Stop it. Because it's yeah. like, you know, he'll hurt your family like he did mine. And blah, blah, yeah. stuff. I'm just like, it's just Clyde. But what yeah. is, yeah, I don't know. I I, just, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't get, I don't buy, I don't, they're not equals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. no means. Not at all. But no. I like the fact they're like, we're, we're going to wait. We're going to wait till you feel safe. And then we're going to pounce. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm excited, that part I'm excited about. It's definitely going yeah. to do something together. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then right right after they take down Clyde, then they'll be back at each other's throats. Of course. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Exactly. Which is yeah. fine. That's yeah. fine with that. I'll do some frenemies. That's fine. Did we know? Is this something we, um, maybe we're going to talk about this later? But I don't know if we are. Um, when Clyde says to Sonny, "Oh yeah, about, I have, I have about your kind." Too. Yes, I wrote that down. Too. Oh, I did write that. I wrote okay. that down too. I yeah. wasn't sure if we were going to get okay. to that. We can. You can mention it now. Um, so Clyde says, "Your kind." Yeah. Well, he said. He's no. like, <laughs> I mentioned it. There it is. No, wait, wait, I, wrote, I wrote it down yeah. actually because it was it was really interesting. It was such a it was such it an was, awkward conversation. Yeah, it was an awkward conversation. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Okay, so okay, so they're sitting there kind of talking, and it's about Ben and Abby. That's uh, folks you at home if you right. watch it's about Ben and Abby possibly getting married, and Clyde says weddings aren't just for your kind, and then somebody goes, "What kind is that?" Yeah, and he goes, "Touchy." And then he kind of apologized yeah. a little bit after that. But well, like, and he even says, he's like, I'm, you know, I'm from... I'm a hillbilly from a different time, different yeah. generation or something. Yeah. I, I don't know, it just seemed like, I don't know, it's like, it's like all of a sudden, now he's got issues. You know what I mean? Like, that's something that he probably would have... Or were they trying to mention it because of gay marriage? I don't know, maybe. Like, they do that... Like, yeah, but they're yeah, so I far don't. ahead, I don't think uh, that that yeah. had anything to do oh, with yeah. it. Because yeah, no. I don't think that they would have... No, um, did I ever say that then. I didn't like Bev? Oh, no, like, you never said no. that. So like why Bev. is Daquan having an issue with Bev no. and me? Oh, we like Bev. Bev's fine. He said that I uh, that I talk about when are, Bev. When are you and Daquan not having exactly. an issue with each other? I don't know. He's cough, cough, Melanie, and Bev. Because if only Mark had nice taste in characters, cough, cough, Melanie, and Bev, then he doesn't hair. <laughs> That's funny, Daquan. It's funny, that is, but, but I, never said, any, I no. never said anything about no. that, yeah, did that I? Is, no, I'll I don't think I, I don't think so. I don't think I have. Well, I, I'm kind of indifferent to her. If I mean, you quote something he said, Daquan, and yeah. write it down. But I don't Can think you have it? either. I don't think quote so. It. Well, speaking Daquan. of Bev, yes. I'm going, moving on yes. to the yes. J.J. Page and Eve oh, storyline. Okay, mm-hmm. first of all. Let's, and my friend Michael. Yes. Yes. So let's talk about a few things. First, Yes. 
we finally figure out what Paige was trying to do with this whole like finding an older man. Dumb storyline. It that was the most ridiculous thing ever. I agree. I agree. And first of all, Eve, you're supposed to be semi broke. Right. So how did you all of a sudden pull out? First of all, I don't know any pawn shop <laughs> that you can go to and says this is worth ten thousand right. dollars, and oh, they go okay. sold, and they just right. hand you ten thousand. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that's the, with the with the, with guy. the older man. The older and man. Oh, so, and yeah, I, I was just complete. I mean, it just goes along with everything else that has come out of Paige's mouth and that whole. I just want to show. I, we swindled you, and I just want to so now stay away from me again. I'm like, well, you just pulled her into it. Does Daquan yeah. like Paige? Probably. He probably. If you don't like her, he probably does. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like I like angry Paige, but this is getting a little too much. No, but she's it's, not. But then she's like always angry right, now. It's, yeah. like it's now always saying, the same now it's thing. Too much. Now it's too much. It's My, like Will. Yes. yes, but but here's the thing, Paige. Be angry. Like we understand you're young. You're you're at that age where like this was your first love. So of course you're gonna feel some kind of way about it. But I feel like she's almost borderline cray cray. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't even think she's borderline. I think she's cray cray. <laughs> like like she's about to go off the deep end. Yeah. With this, I'll let her take that though. If she, if she can get off of this part and just go completely crazy. I'm with her. I'm Listen, crazy just train. put her in a room. Let her destroy some stuff. Right. Let her get it out. Yeah. And then you know put her with Kyle. Mm -hmm. hey, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know yet because he's a drug dealer. Hey, maybe maybe we join. Did you point at me? <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe it's rude. Um, what I do in hey, my private time. Hey, <laughs> note to note to self. It's not about you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I look like you pointed, and I like right well, at me. Well, because I'm talking, and I'm always hands. talking in this direction. Sit on your hands. Well, e well yeah, now, hands. well now it's gonna be. You looked at me. Why was it me? You looked at me. Jeez. On after buzz. In front of our fans. I'm not one of your fans. Yeah, exactly. Um. So yes. And that was uh. So that was that whole page so, Eve thing that just. Ridiculous. I'm giving yeah. money to army veterans or some veteran because I know you hate that. Right? Yeah, I'm like, it made and no sense. It was so dumb. It was dumb. Another thing that's dumb. Eve, you stole the file from Laura. Right. Read it at home. Yeah. Don't yeah. just don't yeah, just right. go in the pub and act like it's like a newspaper. It's like, oh, I'm now going to read this file that I stole out of Dr. Marlena Evans' yeah, office, right. yeah. and I'm just gonna oh, and then put oh. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Like no, that doesn't make, make any no sense, sense yeah. either. Oh yeah. my god! It's like hello. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So that's that. And, that and then the JJ. Yes. Uh, yeah. Guzzling down beer, but he won't smoke weed. No. <laughs> but, yeah, do that. And then now oh, they're gonna hire him to. That narc. came. Okay. So, so random. It, yes. it was very random because first, I didn't understand why Kyle felt like he needed. JJ. Right. And then I was like, okay, I kind of get it. Like, he was like a big, like, big thing, can probably help right. the numbers mm -hmm. and all that right. kind of stuff. Right. We figured out that Kyle is working with Clyde. Yes. So, Clyde is obviously on on an uprise while Victor <laughs> and Stefano are just kind of like, where did this guy come from? Yes. But, um, but then he gets into that fight with the drunk guy. And it's obviously out, more so out of his anger with his whole situation of Paige. Yes. And mm -hmm. Bev has kind of had enough. He's like, really, chick? Like, I yeah. can't take you. Like, yeah. every time you go, he's just extra angry. <laughs> and then he gets, like, he gets taken down and arrested, and then they're like, we actually want you to go undercover. Right. If I was JJ, I would have been like, are you kidding me? Right. Like, you you had me followed this whole yes. time, fake arrested, in order for brought in through right. the back so right. that you can ask me to go undercover for you? Yeah. Stupid. Well, and just like, and I always say this, like, these little things just are so annoying to me because I don't understand why they even put them in there. They're so unnecessary. Right. Yeah. Like, when he gets arrested and he's like, I want a lawyer, and they're like, you can't call a lawyer. I'm like, well, no, you can. Right. Yeah. You actually. Are so you, you know not going to read me my rights? Why even right. write no. that? Right. Why even say that? Right. You know what I mean? Like, just mm -hmm. take him just away. Just take him off. Just leave that line out. Like, yeah. Right. Why do you have to be, say something stupid like that? I guess it's more so allowing us as a viewer to know that there's something not quite right. And is it mm -hmm. because this guy that's there's been so lurking... There's so many other ways to do that. Well, the guy that's been lurking around, we didn't know that he was working for Roman. We thought that he was maybe in cahoots with yeah, Clyde and Kyle. Yeah, but we didn't, and we didn't find out until he gets into the office with... Roman, with Roman and all that stuff. So then, why even say that? Just to say, keep you on the edge of your seat. This is daytime soaps, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> they do things to reel you in. <laughs> it's just silly. <laughs> 
Well, guess what? Silly is a silly <laughs> dog. Oh, that one, glow on that one. Yeah, yeah. Daytime just has some great acting and stuff, and sometimes they have other stuff that happens. Yeah. Well, this yes. is the other stuff that's mixed with some great acting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, and then he's all like, "No," and I'm like. You can't just say no. no like, no. you know, they're not going to bring all these people on for you to be like, oh, right. no, I'm not going to go on the cover. D, a DA, new yeah. DA, Ian Watts or whatever, or some new name. So you yeah. can, you're going to have to do it all. Yeah. yeah. And, it. But I like that it more so wasn't because he didn't want to, like, deal, but I think it's more so about how it would look towards his family who's yes. been supporting him they and have, everything yeah, like yeah, that. So yeah. he doesn't want to make them look bad. I agree with you on that one. I agree so, that and one. then, of course, if he's doing this, he won't be able to be like, I'm undercover. Right, <laughs> exactly. So you're going to think, oh my God, JJ's back to doing drugs again. Oh my God, and this yeah. will be a mess. Yeah. 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 He yeah. pulled his life together. I mean, he pulled his life together for the, well, besides sleeping with mother and daughter. Yeah. He pulled the rest of his life together. He was going to be a busboy. Is he still under 21? Yes, because yeah. he got arrested for underage drinking. That was their whole thing, underage drinking. I thought, I thought he got arrested because of the fight. And mm -hmm. then when they were like, and you're underage. home, though. Yeah. I, well, we all, well, I was that age and did too. What but. Horton will allow their kid to drink alcohol? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he's sneaking in. Maybe he has like a, a private fridge upstairs and Jen doesn't know about it and this can... It has like beers and liquor. And I feel like he's drank in front of Jennifer though before. I feel like he has too. I feel like he has too. Actually. I feel. I feel like that's a small I mean, detail I, that I, maybe I they have messed up. Against that. Continuity. Personally, continuity. I could care less. But. Right. Right. <clears throat> it's, um, it's just odd. Again, one of those odd things. Very odd. Well, so yeah. So there's that. We'll see what happens with that. Now, more tidbits. Yes. Uh, Brady and Teresa. Yes. <laughs> scheduled visits with your own baby. I know. <laughs> I'm so like I'm, I'm so annoyed I'm really annoyed with this whole thing and I'm so tired of Teresa asking the nanny to get her things and to unpack Knowing her bags that, that and she's gotten it like three different times for yeah. the same thing it's like girl She's the nanny. Like, if anything, what you should be doing is going, Brady, I might not have pushed Tate out of my uterus, <laughs> but you're not going to tell me when and when I can't and can't right. see oh, yeah. my, right. like, our child. Right. Yeah. Like, snap out of it. Right. Yeah. Like, that's going to show Brady more anything that she's mm -hmm. serious about being a mom. Yeah. Like, sure. you know, yes. you're... Like, if I was her, I would have picked up that contract and said, we're raising the kid. Yeah. Like, that's it. It's, mm -hmm. If you're in the room, fine. If I'm right. in the room, fine. We just need to learn how to be cordial. But yeah. you're not going to tell me. You well, got to go away. Yeah, you got to go away while I'm, like, yeah. tending to the baby. Oh, yeah. And then have the nanny. Like, no, it's too yeah. much. So, yeah. Like, yeah. I've already been apart yes. from. And the fact mm -hmm. that they still haven't written Teresa to be a caring mother. Like, right. have, yeah. there's something that happens to women, I mean, not that I know, <laughs> that when you have a baby, like, yeah. you suddenly start caring for this baby, but she's still, like, this scheming yeah. it's funny person. Because it's funny because when Sammy became a mother, she it gave another side to her. Yes. That she would do anything. It was for all, her child. It was all motivated for her and all her children. Yeah. 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 Do all of her stuff. Yeah. You knew she was basically a good mother, I guess. You mm -hmm. that. She was always good for her children. So, yeah, yeah why isn't Teresa being written that way? I don't get Exactly. It. I don't know. But I don't I, either. I don't. I don't Cause know. Because you know, Jen Lilly can pull it off. She yeah, can do it. Yeah, it's but it's it's also weird because uh, then the random discovery of a nanny cam. Yeah, like the smoke that, detector. How is like, the smoke detector odd? Yeah, like it was, that was the thing. Was like that's odd. Uh, no, it's a smoke detector. It and a baby. Be I don't know. I don't know if she said odd or new. Well, the way she looked at it was kind of like no, and it's like stormed out. Yeah, yeah. like it was like this realization, and I'm like, well, because you look at smoke detectors and right, think that, right? Like. It was kind of weird, you know. And then the and then she left, and she decided to come back. Actually, I love. I mean, I wouldn't. Why didn't? Again, this is another one of those yeah. stupid things. Put like a picture with like a little red yes. light. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, right. how is that different? Right. Yeah, you exactly. go, oh, there's a little red light. And then the fact right. that like you know all the. No one's computer in the house has a password on it. I'm just going to flip it open and, oh, look, it's right there on the desktop. Double click. Oh, look, there was me. And there's Haley. Just yeah. send it to myself. And I can play with it because I'm, I'm a video editor. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm like, yeah. no, sense. it's Anne's friend is the video editor. Oh, we're being like, we're being like, just send this yeah. like, Whichever. But I loved, actually, I loved Anne being in the house. It was kind yeah. of funny. It was just like, wow. Just sitting out. Oh, yeah. just, oh you're like, you're like Anne. Man. <laughs> yeah. well, I like Anne. I thought it was kind of funny. Well, we'll see. The, Teresa has hatched up a plan to to make Brady see her as a better mom, and it's a way to get rid of Haley. So we'll see what debacle they're going to come yes. up with. And, we'll and just Teresa. like be a better mom, and that's the best answer. Exactly. Right. Um, so then we have, really quickly, Hope, mm -hmm. Rafe, and Clyde. All of a sudden, 
a bright light went off with Hope and Rafe, and they <laughs> yes. figured out that Clyde was responsible right. for Sonny. Right. So kudos to them. And finally, I, I still don't. I want to see what's going to happen with this because they are so on Clyde mm-hmm. that, and they've been on him for a while, and they go back and forth. No, right. we're not doing it. Yes, but we talking about it. You but shouldn't at, do it. Okay, it, we're gonna it, do it. At, but yeah. it, yeah, but it, yeah. So I agree on that one. That's it yeah. with that. We'll yeah, see what, what happens with that. Um, and then Adrian and Lucas. Yes. Uh, Adrian uh, is letting everyone know about her divorce. Sonny was very uh, uh, was very supportive. Yes. He actually was scared. But I just want to say one part. And I don't know if it's just me, but is it me or does Kate and Justin have chemistry? Yeah. I think they do. Yeah. I love when, when, he, when she walks into her office and he's just sitting there. You and mean he the one her. office that's in Salem. Yeah, the one, yeah, the the one, one office, office that's in Salem, Salem that they keep changing. Redecorated. Yes. And, yeah. she, and, she, and he mocks her and says, stay away from my desk and don't touch my crayons either. And she's just like, oh, my God. I'm like, there's chemistry with these two. I mean, wouldn't, that, wouldn't they just die? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I they have such... I mean, Lauren Kasler has chemistry with everybody. I think that's what the problem yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. But she's. But they. I saw chemistry. I see chemistry. I do, too. Yeah. It's, really? it's, it's, their, their bits are starting to be very funny. Uh, <laughs> And, and of other. course, it all came around when Adrian shows up at Will's house, mm-hmm. and Lucas is there with with Ariana, and that's how yes. they first met. The kind of like oh, yeah, yeah, babysitting, yeah, yeah. babysitting goes, and seasons where all comes back around. Yeah. They're yeah. like they're like school kids. It's mm-hmm. so funny. They're like they're like lovesick school kids. And I, Adrian, it's not your fault that <laughs> that the divorce is happening, right? Like Lucas came very after. Do you think she's listening? Yeah, <laughs> Adrian, Adrian, girl, if you're listening. In Salem, as you lay in bed with Lucas, who's on top of things. Tell Lucas I said hi. (laughs) (laughs) What would Chad Demare think about that? Well, he's well, he was he was my old well. Billy Flynn events will be unfollowing you after this broadcast. They love me. me. Oh, sure, Hawk wrote. uh, She made a name for him, Jate. Jate, Kate, and uh, Justin. Jate. Jate. I, I like, like that. that. Jate. Jate. I like it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, that is that has been your week of days. <gasps> what? You forgot the most important thing. What's that? That Sierra is going to be an umpire. Oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> Dumb storyline. Another one. I didn't forget. I just chose to look <laughs> over it. I'm like, that actress is so good. You could do her something else in the whole umpire storyline. Give me a break. As I said before, moving on. <laughs> so now we are going to go into the favorite part of our show, which is our segment. And we're going to start off with mine, and that's the Three Snaps Award. Now, i am decided to give it to John. Oh. oh. I'm giving oh. it to John for being the inquisitive, kind of overprotective father as he was talking to Paul about the new boy that he was hanging out with. Mm -hmm. It was a little uncomfortable. It might have been a little awkward, Mm -hmm. but he was very concerned. So to John for being his accepting self to his new son, I give you the three snaps award. That was a good one. That was cute. And and Paul liked it. He was like, oh, he was like, he was like, oh, you're what what is this? You're (laughs) concerned about a boy. He's just so sweet. And it just comes I just yeah, he can do no wrong. Yeah, I, I, agree. I agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, well, now in absence of Peter, hello again, Peter. Hi, uh, Peter. We don't have our WTF moment, but we do have a brand new segment brought to you by the very fine Mr. James Lott Jr. <laughs> and I will have him present it. Take it away, James. Thank you, Tony. So we, uh, this is a new. I'm debuting a new segment, and on soaps. Like Days of Our Lives. They've been on for a long time. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes the family trees in and soaps can actually get convoluted. Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing is called Look Who's Related. So I'm taking two current cast members and I'm going to show you how they are related. I like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like and that. today's one is, in quotes, related. So here we go. The two people are Nicole Walker, let me bring it up, and mm-hmm. Abe Carver. Oh, no, not yep. that one. The first, the, one, first the first one, just the first one. Right. There, there, there we go. go. Shirtless pick, uh, gratuitous. <laughs> um, okay, so Nicole Walker came to town, and she had a half brother named Brandon Walker. But we didn't know he was half. At Not that yet point. At the time, but yeah. But that's the, that was the funny thing. He was yeah, he's light skinned. On some level, but we're kind of like they don't look the same. Yeah. He know? is not light skinned He is all sorts yeah, of Hispanic. Right, exactly. Latin. <laughs> so they, never, they, never, they never mentioned that yeah. at all. So it's kind of that's kind of funny you brought that up. They never yeah. said anything. But we find out that it's her half brother, mm-hmm. and uh, they were very close. He was married to Sammy yes. for a few years. There's mm-hmm. a whole big storyline with him. Yes. He was played by Matt Sedano. Yes, mm-hmm. and uh, and he had an affair with Lexi. 
That's another thing, too. Oh, that's Remember that? right. Yeah, the fair election. He totally oh. did. And then after all that happened, when Nicole and Brandon's mother came to town, Faye, mm-hmm. they found they had this share the same mother, and then it was revealed that Faye and Abraham had a long ago affair. Yeah. yeah. And it was after Lexi and Brandon had their affair that they found out that Abe was actually Brandon's father. Uh, yeah. Nicole's half brother. Nicole's yeah. half brother. Yeah. So Abe. Well, yes. thank God they didn't do anything with each other because that would have been gross. Oh, yeah. gross. So they are. That could actually, be a new segment. What's grosser than gross? <laughs> <laughs> I can think of some stuff too. Um, so basically, Nicole Walker and Abraham Carver are related through You're Brandon right Walker, right. and that is look who's related. Look at that. All right. Yes. Hmm. And now we have another fun segment brought to you by the one and only. Mr. Mark J. Freeman with Mark's quote. Well, hello. <laughs> um, before I do quote of the week, I just want to re- uh, show everybody who might have missed my tweet the other day that I actually do eat pizza rolls and watch Days of Our Lives. Yes. If you want to put up the picture, I tweeted this out. Nope, 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 there it is, is. there it is. There it is. My pizza rolls. How many do you eat? One, two, three, four. Five, I had already six, eaten seven, a couple eight, too. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait. One, 14, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. 10, I just kind of dump 13, from 15. the bag. You know, I got the big bag yeah. and I just dump some in the toaster oven. I usually do half bag. Yeah. Mine's like 20. I had eaten a couple because I was waiting for the logo to come up, so I was sitting there holding the plate, eating them. Like, <laughs> God, my arm is getting tired. I didn't want to show you my whole room, so I got up and stood next to the TV. So I do eat them every once in a while while I'm watching these. All right, so my quote of the week, I mean, there were several very good ones, um, uh, which I forgot to mention this one, but we'll talk about it later. Um, My quote of the week goes, it has, I mean, you knew when Stefano and Victor were in a room together, Mm -hmm. it was going to be, I mean, sometimes it's just, you just know, like, I I see the scene starting, I'm like, okay, I got to get my pen and my paper because it's going to happen now. (laughs) Um, So when Stefano says to Victor, what's going on with with you and Clyde Weston, and (laughs) Victor's It was hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> well, Maggie and I go square dancing with him and Kate every Thursday night. The man is a Barishnikov of the two stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that down too. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Victor. I was literally oh, yeah. like crying on my bed. I was like, that's why I eat pizza rolls yes. to get me through those moments. Yes. But oh my God, yes. it was the best. It was. And you know that when they write this in that room, they are laughing that oh, hysterical. Because sure. yes. yes. that was just yes. hysterical. Yeah. Uh, the other one I was going to mention was when Kate was talking to, I forgot to mention when we were talking about Kate and the uh, the divorce. Yes. yes. And she's like, and he, she's like, he's like, well, I cheated on her. To, <laughs> yeah, but in Salem, you know, that's grounds for a public, uh, Public shouting match, not divorce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I also like the thing between Kate and Hope. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was like yes, a little yes, shady, too. Yes, I was like, ooh, oh, look at that shade mm-hmm. being there tossed. Was, there was some really good ones. There's, this week. Some this week. So I get, there's weeks where I'm just like, Shh, I gotta go back through and find right. something. And then you're, you're giving a gift this week. Yes. You're giving a lot mm-hmm. of Tied up in a week. nice little bow for yes. While yeah. I was eating my pizza rolls. There you go. And that has been Mark's quote. And now, of course, as you guys know, Days of Our Lives is celebrating their 50th year this year. And so we will like to take you back and remind you guys of some wonderful storylines and characters with our hashtag those were the days and today's those were the days will be presented by Mr. James Lott Jr. <laughs> Thank you. So there are two significant things that happen on Days of Our Lives that are the most important above everything else. Of course debuting on November 8th, 1965. Mm-hmm. So I thought but, you were going to say that Tony was on. <laughs> well, Tony, that's, Not number, yet. Three. that's number three. <laughs> He's in the background. Uh, but number two, the second most important thing that happened on Days of Our Lives happened on April 21st in 1975. It went from 30 minutes and expanded to an hour. Oh, mm-hmm. look at that. So actually this picture, the small hourglass represents the 30 minutes and the big hourglass is represents the hour. That's their whole that's their whole meaning on that one. Mm-hmm. And if you're wondering why Julie is in that picture and, and all the and all the promotions, she was the biggest star on daytime on Days of Our Lives at that time. She was the actress who had been on the most episodes in that first ten years. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. She was the first actress to go on Time magazine with Doug when Doug and Julie were super mm-hmm. huge. Um, she was the original Sammy Brady. 
Ah, and her yeah. and Sammy uh, talked about that a couple years ago about how she was like, I know how you are because I was the same way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was. She was. She caused lots of problems, marriages, kids. She was the original Sammy. And also, one other thing that happened during that time was they had to add McDonald Carey's McDonald Carey's voice for the second half hour. They call it a bumper, and it would say, "We will return." To the second half of Days of Our Lives after these moments. And they had it on there, so it's kind of a funny thing. So they went from a half hour to an hour, very significant on Days of Our Lives. It affects us today. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so those were the days. And we have another picture as well. That was Is the that ad. the Times Magazine? Yep, that was the yeah. ad. On there ABC we go. Form. And so from one thirty to two thirty. That's right. And she, I mean, she was huge. I mean, I mean, Susan Seaforth Hayes really brought out the first super couples, first bad girl. I mean, mm-hmm. she was really, really big, and she's still on today, of course. Yeah. I mean, she comes on on today, so yeah, we love her. And that's Look what at I that. Yes. And that has been your hashtag. Those, those were, were the, the days. days. And now let's get into some news and gossip. Oh yeah. All right. We're just going to get right into it. All right. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have the return of yet another past cast member of Days of Our Lives who recently announced on her Twitter that she is coming back. Miss Tamara Braun Yay. will be reprising her role as Ava. Mm-hmm. Um, so she is debuted to make her return during Days 50th. I do believe we have a photo of her. Because she, she also was on playing Taylor. Taylor. Yes. Nicole's. Because when I first thought, I was like, they're bringing Taylor back? Yeah, that yeah. was my first well, she won an Emmy for playing Ava. Yeah. Yes. So, she is. so yes. she's Emmy winner Tamara Braun. Yes, yeah. yes. I so, love her. Yeah, so she is very excited to make her return back to Days, and I just wonder what kind of sneaky stuff yeah. she's going to be up to. It's going to be good. So it's really good. It's, from the way it sounds, Days 50th is about to be <laughs> a rumble. Oh, like I, I feel wait. like things are about to get really uh, shook up. And I just saw something, too, that the ratings are already starting to go up. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. we're all anticipating it. Yeah, yeah we're ready. Um, I like to think it's because of After Buzz. Oh, of course. Of course. Dish and days. Of course. Hello. Um, and of course, speaking of past cast members, uh, James and I had the lovely pleasure of catching up with Chriselle Staus, who you guys remember as ex Jordan Ridgeway. Yes. And she actually came on, and we had a chance to talk about how she felt about the character and a lot of things that are coming up. But check out this clip as she talks about what she most enjoyed about playing Jordan Ridgeway. Oh, interesting. A character's coming from. Yeah. So, um, although it was at the end, I liked when you got to see what happened between her and Clyde in the confrontation. Yeah. Yeah. And although it's really physically, you know, trying on those days and emotionally trying, and there's so many lines to memorize. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that's what, you know, creatively fuels you. You know, yeah. like that felt like I earned my paycheck today. Like I really felt like, <laughs> you know, it was like just creatively, um, you know, pushed me. Yeah, so yeah. I will say, you know, as fun as those scenes are to work with Galen and yeah. we're laughing and all that stuff, I love doing stuff like that. Yeah. But as far as, like, creatively, I, I loved the, the hard stuff. Because yeah, nice. I so wanted if you guys want to check out this whole interview through. with Chriselle Stout, make sure you visit After Buzz TV on YouTube and check out our spotlight on interview with the one and only yeah, Miss Chriselle Stout. She I was so fun she's so and fun. so funny. <laughs> yes. And we had an absolute <laughs> blast I completely her. agree. She's my new BFF. Yes. Yeah, so if you and she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's be- beautiful, Very beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So uh, so make sure you guys right check here, that guys. out. <laughs> Hashtag. Jeez. It's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I we have another bit of news and gossip, mm-hmm. and this pertains to a wonderful upcoming event yes. featuring the one and only. Billy Flynn, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's only one person that can do it justice. So I'm gonna toss it over to. The biggest lover of Billy Flynn, besides mm-hmm. Billy Flynn, mm-hmm. Mark <laughs> Flynn. Maybe his girlfriend. I know he loves right, right, right. His girlfriend might love him a little bit more than me. I'm not sure. Uh, well, he has an event coming up. Do we have the date in in the Niagara it's Falls? It's in October. I want to say fourth. Fifth or yeah. third, fourth, there, fifth, yeah. somewhere um, uh, early October. We're going to give you guys that information later. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we actually weren't prepared to, <laughs> to right. give you that today. But uh, I did get a, um, because uh, Flynn Events, Fan Events, now follows me on Twitter. Which has been the us. highlight of his it's week. It's been, you don't even understand what it's been like for me. Um, I actually took a screenshot and sent it to these these dooligans yes, because I was so did. excited. Yes. Um, but I did get a, a direct message from them saying that, um, that the fans now have a chance at winning their tickets paid back in full if they're purchased bef- by August 15th. One VIP and one fan pack. Um, hashtag you don't want to miss this. So yes. I guess if you, I don't know if you do that. Um, and then also, and tickets purchased by July 15th have a chance 
have a chance in three for one, oh, a chance for three people for a one on one with Billy on the Sky Wheel. Okay. Oh, nice. Hmm. <laughs> So basically, I got to buy my tickets by July 15th. Yes. Yeah. So you only have a Sweet couple Jesus. of days to get how it. How much are these? How much, uh, I need to see how much he's worth. Yes. yes. Well, I mean, is And he, what do you get? I mean, I want a definition of one and one. <laughs> I mean, is it just like... I, talk, oh like I'm God. suddenly very nervous. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, so we will, get, we will give I you will guys... I will be there, Mr. Flynn. <laughs> we, will, we will give you guys more information regarding... don't call the police regarding, <laughs> We'll give you guys more information <laughs> regarding that event, but there is an event coming up at the end of this month uh, brought to you by Dual Events, uh, Dual Coast Events, and uh, we have some tickets to give away for their Friday night event yes. happening on July 31st. It is the Luck of the Brady's, and in order for you guys to win these tickets, we are actually going to be doing this over the next few weeks, you have to find our page, Tony Mark Peter, and you have to look for the trivia question at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right before our show every Sunday. The first person to correctly answer that trivia question will win the two tickets for that event. And for the Luck of the Brady's event, we have our winner. Miss Lainey Lopez is the winner of two tickets to the event. So congratulations Yay! to Lainey. Um, we had the trivia question of, it came from James, yes. and it was... Which Brady came to town but didn't use the Brady last name? And that person was Mr. Colin Murphy. Yes. So congratulations. You didn't want to use my question? We have two more weeks to <laughs> yeah, do exactly. it. Exactly. We got more questions. We got more, more weeks to go. <laughs> So the, the next pair of tickets that we're going to be uh, giving away is for their event happening on um, August 1st, and it's actually that morning. And it is the Old School Days event happening at the Weston in Long Beach from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you'll be able to enjoy a delicious buffet-style breakfast while getting photos and autographs cool. and one-on-one -on -one time with some of Salem's finest. So mm -hmm. if you would like to win tickets, make sure you tune in to our Facebook page, Tony Mark Peter, um, for the trivia question be the first person to answer it correctly and we will announce the winner live right here on our edition days uh, after show for Days of Our Lives. Yes. Um, so now let's go quickly into some predictions. Um, wait, tonight, what was I going to say? There was something I was going to predict. I don't know, but I predict that Abby's going to be pregnant because I watched the... Oh, there oh, it oh, is. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> So I, I watched the preview that, that Days puts out, and it yeah. looks like Abigail is prego. Okay. But she also needs to run a DNA test to find out mm -hmm. who the daddy but is. But isn't it true that you can't run a DNA test till the baby's born? No. I know. No. You, do, yeah. you do, do amnio. You have to do, it's a certain amount of time you have to wait before you can do it. Oh, yes. Okay. Like, so think like second trimester, possibly. I'm not yeah. sure. Fact fact listen, check, if, check, listen check. if you can find out whether you're if you're pregnant through plasma, I'm oh, pretty sure right. they can find out. We should ask Melanie. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh. Daquan. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Just so in. I feel like that's going to be the big thing that's going to happen with Abigail. So we know it's going to be Chad or Ben's. It's not, people are trying to say EJ. I've seen that online. I yeah. still think it's going to be EJ's. I still yes, think it's yes. going to be EJ's. So, yeah. I, I just yeah. feel like there's going to be like. Uh, my, <laughs> my friend in Atlanta, Glenn, was texting me. He's like. Why would you even say EJ is going to be the father? Where, how would they have done that? EJ's dead. And I was like, I explained it all to him. I'm like, look, yeah. dude, yeah. it's, it's daytime. Day yeah. Crazy stuff can happen. Yes. Dial yeah. it back. The yeah. craziest things can happen. Yeah. So yes. I guess we will just have to see. Yeah. And so that has been your Dish and Days time with us. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Before we head off, where can they guys? Where can they? Where can they guys? <laughs> where can they guys find us? <laughs> where can they find you guys? You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash the Mark J Freeman on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love L O R A Y N E L O V E and I would just like to say hello to Sarah. Uh, you, who always tweets me, and she's so sweet and nice, and I just wanted to say hi and give her a little shout out. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Twitter at Black Hope LA. You can find me on Facebook at James Law Jr. And I'm also on several other AfterBuzz TV shows. I do one for Zoo, for Big Brother, so you can see me this week. And you guys can find me on all social media platforms um, at Lounging with Tony. So make sure you like me, follow me, add me, and I'm looking forward to your comments. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dishing Dish Days. Days. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. 
to watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.